Previously on Mustard Piece, a handsome fellow decided to make an ant. An ant the world has never seen before. for my family. It took an extraordinary effort and required lots of sweat and tears and uh, explosion, lots of explosions. What? Anyway, after many hours of hard work, it was finally finished and looked magnificent. Some might even say it was a mustard piece. Mustard piece. <laughs> I hope you like my woodworking action movie trailer. So anyway, it's pretty clear my channel doesn't really work. I'm getting less and less views recently and I don't know why because the quality of the videos that I put up is much better and the art pieces are much better as well but anyway so i still enjoy making videos and i still enjoy making art so i am going to continue doing that but from now on my goal with this channel is producing entertaining videos and also producing unique art pieces so hopefully you will see something similar like today's mm not just the boring stuff anyway let's just get back to the end and uh, finish it up I'll show you what i done so in this episode beside the atomic explosion that you have seen in the trailer i am going to show you how to do the legs little bit of shaping, little bit of carving and uh, I'm going to glue it together and then I'm going to do a little bit of painting on it and i show you the final product. So by the way here is the cracked resin from the trailer so you know it's not fake, it really happened, it was a sad moment. Okay. Tape, put drops of epoxy on it and one of them is actually the perfect shape and size this one look at this perfect eye just have to find the right place for it don't lose it. Yeah, like this. I think I'm going to do it like that. So now I'm going to show you how I made the antenna. And that's the same technique that I used for making the legs. So I have already created one of the antlers. Matches. The one that you make fire with. Matches. So I break it. <laughs> and I break it again. And just for good measure, break it one more time. I'm trying to create the shape. Yeah? 
for now I am just going to put some sea glue here just like this and then just buff it in sea glue activate it now I have piece that is fairly sturdy so now I can start carving it so I have the first portion now I'm going to create this part so basically I just have two lolly sticks glued together and not much to it to be honest I'm just going to carve simple shape and just glue the two together and that's all so let's start it by the way I'm using an extremely sharp professional carving knife for this if you can don't use a normal knife but this one would give me stitches if I mess it up but still easier to use than a normal knife so now I have the two parts I am just glue it together it's done good morning my fellow woodworker or a woodworking enthusiast who just like to watch there's nothing wrong with that anyway today is leg day and we are not going to skip leg day and I show you my routine yeah one leg has three parts to it and uh, it has six legs why does it have to be six legs Don't make it too complicated for you, start it with the sanding disc. great now I have to buy a new slow bed so blade So, I have prepared all the pieces, pieces. <laughs> so, I have prepared all the pieces and now the only thing we have left is gluing it together. Can you see it on the camera? It's a wasp. 
invading my personal place. Here we go. I have all the pieces, and now it's just a matter of gluing them together, and that's probably as difficult as making the individual parts. Put it on a base because I want to be able to turn it around and I use blue tech to hold it in place. So 